Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So, different kind of video for me today. So what I wanted to do was, I was going to do a comparison video on these two, but I'm, it's not really a comparison video because I love both. I think these are both absolutely amazing drones. The Spark's fantastic, it's been out a bit, everybody knows about it. The Femi A3, I've had four or five flights with it and I cannot fault it. I absolutely love its flying characteristics and everything. The video quality looks great. So they're both winners. But this is really the only competition to this. Uh, in reality, there's other cheap drones. The Heaven drone from JDRC. The Sea Fly Dream. The garbage. The, to get something to compare to this, this is the only thing that compares to it. Very similar cameras, very similar quality. So which one should you buy, basically? So I'm going to do a quick run through of the things I prefer on each drone. So, the two controllers. This one obviously has its built-in screen. I'm not turning it on, it's got a built-in screen. You've seen it on the other video I did. The sticks feel nice enough. It's got a nice control system. It feels really good in your hand. Now the downside of this screen is it's 5.8 gigahertz. So it's not Wi-Fi. Now, that's better in a lot of ways because I can get better range or I'm not relying on Wi-Fi, I'm using the 5.8 GHz FPV system. But because of that, you're going to get break up on your screen and the resolution on this screen is not as good as it's going to be on the Spark on the phone. In fact, it's nowhere near as good. And that's because it's an analog signal coming back. So that's one thing you've got to bear in mind. This is going to have a good range, but you're going to get break up quite a lot. Now I fly with goggles on as well. I obviously have a spotter but I fly with goggles on and when I've got the goggles on I'm still getting a lot of break up in this on my picture. I'm not saying it's unflyable, it's not, you just get dropouts. Now that's fine and I can live with that totally. And if I watch it on the screen it, it looks very very similar. But the biggest problem I also have is you can't see this screen because the TFT they've used inside here isn't of the highest quality. And it's not going to be for the cost of the drone. You've got to remember the cost of the drone. Because it is key to this thing. So it's a positive and a negative of the built-in screen. But you don't need to have your phone. The DJI controller, everybody knows about this thing. Now, love this or hate, I, I love this controller. I don't like the way the phone fits. No one really does. I think it's awkward to put your phone in and out of. But you can buy add-on accessories to hold your phone if that's what you should want to do. The sticks feel fantastic on this, the resolution is great, and it feels fantastic in my hand. And I'm used to it. I've had a lot of flights with this because I own the Mavic, which has got a very similar controller, and I own the Mavic Air, which has exactly the same controller. So I'm used to this controller far more than I am with this one. And the other advantage of this is, although, yeah, it does use a Wi-Fi connection, you get a fantastic crystal clear picture back to your phone. Some people experience a lot of breakup. I personally have never done that. I, I can get a kilometre range out of this virtually all the time and I know people have less, must be where I live but I am getting a decent thing so they're both very similar on range to be honest but I don't get any break up at all in that time on this controller and I know other people are going, well I get some I'm only going on what I'm, I'm only saying what I get and I'm comparing both drones against each other not to say which is best because like I said I love them both so to the drones the advantage of the Spark is quite obvious by looking at it. It's tiny. It really is tiny. Now because it's tiny, you pay the price on one thing and that's battery life. You're not going to get more, well, people say they get more than 12 minutes. I've never had, I can constantly get 12 minutes. But I've never really had more. I think I hit 13 months when I was hovering and messing around with it. So you're going to lose time because of the battery. So you're paying the price for the small compact size of the drone and let's be fair it's absolutely fantastic look at the size of this thing it's tiny now the Femi drone is going to give you a lot better flight time more into the 20 minutes because it's got a bigger battery in the back but the drone is quite is I mean let's be fair there's a huge difference in size absolutely massive difference now you're gonna because of that you get a better battery life flight characteristics I don't think this, they fly very much different, to be honest. If anything, the Spark would maybe quite, maybe just slightly better, but there's very little in it. 
So this flies all all day. But it's, it's, this the spark is slightly better, but there's not much in it. You certainly wouldn't be noticing too much if you took one down and took the other one up. I know it's because I'm flying these things a lot. But this thing flies remarkably well compared to the other stuff that's on the market at this kind of price point. Cameras. So the cameras are both two axis, third axis stabilised. Now the biggest thing you've got with the two drones is this does not have anything underneath an optical flow to hold it in position. Having said that, it hovers superb. This obviously has optical flow and it has a sensor on the front which this doesn't have. But it's obviously quite a bit more money. This is quite a lot more money than this one is. I don't know if you saw my video, but I paid 350 quid for this for three batteries. This cost me 230, I think it was. But this was second hand. Um, well, it was, it had a couple of flights in it. Now, the thing you have to remember if you buy this one is, the battery charger that it's gonna come with, is not gonna give you 20 odd minutes if you use that battery charger because it's not gonna charge it to the to high volt. It's only gonna charge it to 4.2 volts which lessens this battery time dramatically. You'd be looking more like 14 minutes, maybe even less. So you need to buy the battery charger. Having said that, a battery charger, if you don't already have your own, if you saw in the video I did for this, you'll have seen how I made the cable up. But if you don't already have a hobby charger, you can buy one at the minute from Banggood for £12.50, or you can pay 42 quid and get it with another battery. The choice is yours. But you're going to have to do something like that to get the flight time out of it. I'm going to have a video come up at the end of this, and this is the Femi flying and the Spark flying. They're filmed on different days in different locations because the weather in the UK, as you can probably imagine, is back to normal. It's horrendous. The wind's strong, it's raining, and I've been trying for five days to get out to do this video, and I can't. So what I'm going to do is use the Spark video I've got, and use this video I've got. I'm not telling you which is better because I'm not sure. You look and make your own mind up. If anything, I think the contrast is slightly better on that, but the sharpness is about the same. But again, they were filmed on different days. Certainly, you're not going to be disappointed if you bought this drone. Not at all. And this, to me, is a bit of a game changer. Because they've proved they can make a drone for this price. And with that, a lot of people are more than happy with 1080p, remember. Some people don't want 4K. They're happy filming in 1080p because they have a 1080p TV. And to be fair, that's what they're going to watch it on. So do you need to go that extra? So for £230 plus, if you can get older one, which is the problem at the minute, it's a bargain. The Spark, still only 1080, you're not gonna get any more from that. You get slightly less, well you get quite a lot less flight time with your batteries, but it's a DJI Spark. So you get all the DJI goodies. And this drone does more than this one because of the features on the DJI app. I'm not gonna go through that, it's another video. I'm sure if you look around, you can find the different what these features are all the different features this has because it's got more than this obviously this to me is more camera platform this to me is still a camera platform with selfie drone qualities built in so i'm going every which way and it sounds like i'm thinking I, I can't really tell you this is better than this or this is better than this because they're at different price points if they're exactly the same on it as they go for the spark but they're not there's a massive saving to be made by buying this drone. And it is quality. And like I say, I, I can't say enough good things about this drone. I really do love the thing. And I think they've made a massive step forward in eating into DJI's market. I haven't got an 8 SE. Uh, because they're very difficult to get hold of. I will get hold of one at some point. But I'm in no particular rush. I've seen some video of it, it looks a bit bluish, but I know that's been corrected in different things and I'd imagine when that drone is 100% nailed on, they're going to have massive competition, especially for that Mavic Pro. Not the Mavic 2, but the Mavic Pro, the kind of entry level drone, if you like, they're going to be better. They're probably going to be better than that because it's got more modern features, more modern abilities. And it's certainly going in the right direction. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Enjoy the videos coming up. Let me know in the comments what you think below. Do you think which video looks best? Bear in mind the film different days, but look at sharpness, clarity, stuff like that. And you tell me what you think, and you tell me what you'd buy over the two drones. Thanks ever so much for watching again. Have a fantastic day.